Hey guys, what's up? Um, welcome back to part 9 of To The Moon. And just full disclosure here. Sorry if you hear any buzzing in the background. I live in the basement and there's a timer on the wall for like the outside, so yeah. Alright, let's get back into it. To be honest with you, I actually don't remember. This is all your fault. The stuffed toy platypus. I'm doing this for you. You artificially generated bastard. Oh shit. Alright. Seems to be nothing in here. Oh. Turn around. Neil. I know what you're planning to do. I know that you know. Yeah? Well, I know that you know that I know. Look, our contract is to send him to the moon. And the only way for that to happen is if Johnny is motivated to do so. But if that means removing River, then what's the point? The reason why he even wants to go to the moon in the first place is because she died. I know, but we are legally bound by the contract, so specifically, F the contract. I didn't take this job to make him miserable, Eva. I don't know about you, but I signed up to help the freaking geezers die happy. Me too, and I like this job. But if we directly go against our legal obligations, we, we'd be in for court hearings. We'll appeal. We know that Johnny would be happier to not go to the moon. Johnny would be happier with a lot of alternate life tangents, Neil. We're not here to play God. Our job is to give him what he's signed for. Well, we happen to know what he wants better than he does. Look, I'm only risking losing River because I believe in her. And... What do you mean, risk? You're removing her. Besides, I will make up for it. Make up for it how? We're running out of time. Just trust me. This is the one who pushed me off the effing lighthouse. Did you just... Late data. Abusing your powers doesn't disable my controls entirely, Eva. What the hell? Booby traps? Really, Eva? Just trying to buy some time. Gee, thanks for telling me. What the frick? Those are some expensive pieces of equipment you're tossing. Seriously, just stay put and wait till I'm done. Oh, piss off. Oh my effing lord. Please, please don't make fun of me for this, guys. Alright, alright. Can't go in there. Look, don't make me exit this whole thing and unplug you. Would you really risk distorting his memories as they are? Just stop trying, please. This won't take long. Ugh, not again. Or come and find me at the end of the hall. Oh, what the? Oh, you gotta be freaking sane, man. 
Is this a joke to you, Eva? Dear Lord, they aren't just zombies, Eva. They're zombivas. D don't come any closer, I got plants. I gotta... Oh my lord, this is so hard. Oh no, come on, man. Whew. These things are good for something after all. No, 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 okay. Oh, sh... Shizzle. Oh, what the heck? This whole thing is just a loop. Oh, f, f this. Happened. Eva. Oh no, I'm not liking this. What else? Billions of lighthouses stuck at the far end of the sky. Now the whole construct's messed up. Johnny, what's your name? Look, it was a long time ago. There's no date or time, Johnny. Hello, Neil. Morpheus. What? It's Eva, you idiot. No shit, we're the only ones here. Listen, whatever you've been doing, stop it. We might not know what Johnny wants, but we know what he doesn't want. And what he doesn't want is exactly what you're accelerating. It's already done, Neil. Why don't you come out now? What did you do to her? Relax, she's merely going elsewhere.
You know, it's one thing to disable my controls to feed me some olives. But this is way out of line. I'm sorry, but this just won't go anywhere if you keep on resetting the memory. At this point, this is the only way. I'm asking you to trust me. So please, just calm down and wait here. Then just pull the trigger already. Where are you going? There's just one last thing I need to do. Poser, there's no need to visualize a door. What's with all this melodrama, Neil? Why are you fighting so hard for this? Forget it. There's no time. Everything will be alright, man. Just turn around. Okay. Okay. Hey, hey, what are you- Shh. <clears throat> Hello? Sorry, kid. It's already started. Come on, they're gonna hug all the good tables. <clears throat> they're all the same, sheesh. Nah, Joey's right. The ones by the kitchen smell better. Totally. And olive refills are just steps away. Ugh, olives. Saving him doesn't justify it. You can always find another river, Neil.
Wow. He actually made it, huh? <laughs> you sound surprised. Whatever happened to, we always succeed because we are awesome. This isn't a success. Oh, lighten up. We're in NASA. We don't have much time left. Let's at least check out, check this place out. Please wait here. Someone will come and show you around shortly. Pathetic. All this trouble just for some girl? That's what I thought you'd say, Neil. How pathetic. Oh, yeah, he did say it. I thought the game was repeating. There you go. Good to have you back. Yeah, yeah. We don't have time to just stare at him. Alright, alright. Memory backpack. Sheesh. I don't know what to do. What the heck, Aruni? What am I supposed to do? Story about a lame duck's attempt to become an astronaut. <laughs> I can't believe this crap actually sold. This isn't the real world, Neil. There we go. Um. Is it me or is this elevator smaller on the inside? This is the mission control center. There's not much going on right now, but you'll see it live one day. We have expected to see Zordon on that screen. He's not here. Uh, what? Let's just go. Okay. So, do you think last century's moon landing was... Let's not, Neil. Let's not.
Your records are excellent, but we'll have to monitor your status closely in the coming sessions. And here's the something. If you're lucky, you'll learn to hate it one day. Ah, oh, yes, the spinny thingy. It's not here either. What are you talking about? Come on, we don't have long left. I hope the real NASA has bigger elevators. The shuttle's still under heavy maintenance. We may only view it from here for now. Oh, this isn't going good. Perhaps there's somewhere we missed. Mm, you need to work on your communication skills. Whoa. Yeah. You know what's the best part of this? What? The very top and bottom of the shuttle. I'd have to agree. Oh, now I pity anyone who can't see those particular parts. Indeed. Especially its nose at the top. When maintenance finishes, they probably won't look the same. Yeah, now's the only time. I wonder if the real NASA looks like this. Probably not. It's constructed in part with Johnny's beliefs, after all. Ah, uh, yes. A wiki of existing facts tainted by personal fairy tales. It's odd, though, to hear birds and see none. thought there was a good chance. What? And this is the break room. Here's David. He's a mission specialist. Nice to meet you. At least he got into NASA, I guess. You think he made it to the end? Even if he did, it'd take more than just a few years to become an astronaut. Let's hurry and find the, fast, the last link then. I'd hate to miss the finale. What's going on? Are we out of time? I... I don't know. Uh, and here's our other new recruit. River, right? Good to have you on board. Hello, I'm John. Whew. I almost thought she was What the? Eva? But you deleted her. I told you, I just moved her. What she does with her life here is still up to her. But this new world, it's based on public da data and Johnny's own beliefs. And since River's data as an individual is not recorded in the public domain, it all comes from Johnny. But even then, that merely increases the odds. How were you sure that it'd work? I wasn't. It could have gone very badly, you know. You were never one to take risks, Neil. 
let's just say I won this round. I was not expecting that. We still have the two spare helmets, right? I think Johnny appreciates some company. He wrote it himself, apparently. Rather repetitive, if you ask me, though. What's it called? To the moon. I like that name. Oh, there you are. You two should go get some rest. Tomorrow's the big day. astronaut too, Dad. One day, son, you just might. <laughs> you should have seen him back when we went to school together. I swear, the guy never rested. He just kept on trying and trying. It was like he only had one goal for... one goal. I messed that up, sorry. You know, that's my brother in that shuttle. Wow. Yep, I once wrote a book about this too. With a less optimistic ending. I might have to change that after all. Hey, Dr. Watts, right? Thank you for letting us in here. Yeah, yeah, he was the one who requested it. Did you find out why he wanted to go to the moon? Sure. And? What all happened here? Let's just say it was a bunch of sappy cheese that sorted itself out. You know, there were quite a few times last night when I thought we lost Johnny. I think he consciously held on to wait for you two. He's rather patient then. I just hope it's worth the wait. Go on now, your colleague's waiting. I thought this might be a good view. <laughs> good enough to cut off the traffic, huh? Sure, even if they were real. Well, this is it. All we worked for. Ready to initiate it? Yeah. I think it's time. Come up here. 
Uh, why? Why not? You're just gonna push me off the ledge again, aren't you? Probably. But the view's worth the odds. Come on. Because one day, I'm going to befriend one of them. Wow. Wow. That was... That was amazing. That was really amazing.
Here he is. Thanks, off you go now. I still can't believe Johnny just willed the house to Lily like that. <laughs> Who else was there to give it to us? Terrible place for burials though. Uh, there's a landslide. Baby swimming with the fishes. Still a little too soon. Nah, it's never too soon. Nice new ringtone. Hello, Eva here. We're on our way. New patient? New patient. Let's roll. What was that? Episode 1, To the Moon. What? Wait, what was that at the end? Oh, I'm so conf- I'm so confuzzled. <laughs> Alright guys, well, that was my playthrough to the moon. I hope you liked it, and I'll see you next time. Bye.